This is a chlorophyll A product derived from ocean colour satellites through the Copernicus Marine Environmental Monitoring Service. This data tells us about microscopic plant life that live in our oceans, the phytoplankton. Our video begins in January. This is summertime for the southern hemisphere and you can see that in the bright phytoplankton blooms that occur in this region. Within the patterns you can also see other things such as the chlorophyll associated with frontal zones and high chlorophyll associated with upwelling along different coastlines such as the west coast of southern Africa. As we progress through the year, the northern hemisphere starts to experience its spring. We can see this in two main ways. Firstly, we get more data. As light starts to hit the Arctic Circle, we can see more of the sea in this area. We also get big blooms of phytoplankton that start in the North Atlantic. Just like on land, the plants bloom during spring. There are some features that you may notice don't change much during the year. For example, there is a constant line of chlorophyll along the equator. This is the result of ocean circulations driven by the Earth's spin, causing currents to diverge and nutrient-rich water to upwell and fill the gap. This powers big phytoplankton blooms in this area. The big blue patches that you see in the open ocean are the gyres, otherwise known as the deserts of the sea. There's very little life in these areas, and this is where our oceans are clearest and most blue. You can see major currents reflected in the chlorophyll image, such as the Agullus current, passes around the tip of southern Africa, spins eddies off into the North Atlantic and retroflects into the southern ocean. You can also see the Kurushio current around Japan and the Gulf Stream, which warms the waters of the UK from North America. You can also see the major rivers, such as the Congo and the Amazon River plumes and how these influence plant life in these areas. This is just one year of data, but if we take many, as we will be able to with the Copernicus programme, you can see larger changes in these patterns over time, such as those resulting from the El Nino Southern Oscillation or from climate change.